So I just watched back a video I made and I wanted to, I missed a question and there were some things I wanted to add. I said that when you graduate, your patches will be on your dress whites. You won't always graduate in dress whites. In the winter months, you will graduate in your dress blues. I don't know the month cutoffs for that, but you either graduate in your, gra graduate in your dress whites or your dress blues. Then, another thing I wanted to say was um, you'll never wear your peanut butters in boot camp. You might, because if you... The fuck? If you are on a hold, if you're on some kind of medical hold or on a hold because there's a hurricane and you're not going to be able to ship right away, you'll be walking around in your NSUs at boot camp. But you will have your collar devices for your NSUs if you're still in boot camp for whatever reason after you graduate, which is completely normal and don't worry about that if that happens to you. Then somebody asked a question about showers and I mentioned it in this previous video but I forgot to say anything about it and I think I said something about it before but I'm sorry if this is a repeat. I've done so many Navy videos now that I can't remember what I talked about. And it's been quite a long time since I've made the very first one. So, boot camp showers, you get like four minutes for a shower. We ended up getting longer, um, especially as time went by. Like, in the very, very beginning, like the very first shower you get, make sure you're on point. Like, make sure you're one of the first ones out. Make sure you don't have your towel on your head or wrapped around your neck. Make sure you have your boots on. They're laced up. You're not walking around like half, whatever. Like, how are they tell you to go in the shower and how are they tell you to come out? Make sure you go in that way and you come out that way and you're not late because the last people out of the head, the last people, like the people that are walking around all like unsat and fucked up, they're going to be the ones in charge of cleaning the bathroom. They will be the head PO, the the ones that have to clean the showers, that have to clean the toilets, that have to clean the bathroom. They will be in charge of the head. So make sure that very first shower you take, don't fuck up because you will end up being the head PO. At least that's how they did it in my division. So eventually though, they would do starboard side or port side. That's left and right for those of you who don't know because in the, bear, in the compartment that you live in, in boot camp, there's the left side and there's the right side or port side, starboard side. And you will, starboard side is left, port side is right, right? I don't, I can't freaking remember. So, anyhow, anyhow, um, they'll say starboard side is going first. So starboard side will go inside, start taking a shower, and in about four to six minutes, they'll be getting out of the shower into the rest of the head to get changed. And once everyone's out of the shower, then they'll call port side or whatever side didn't get called, and they'll go in the showers. Everyone should be done showering. Like, I think you get 45 minutes total on the POD to schedule for hygiene. I don't really know though, but you don't get very long. And it wasn't very hard to get used to. Um, sometimes, like when you first get in, you don't have shampoo, you only have, like if you hadn't, if you weren't able to go to the next yet, you'll just have body wash. But I used body wash in my hair. I washed my hair with Lever 2000. It was no big deal, it totally worked fine for me, but my hair is not very fussy. So sometimes like when we go to the next, when we could go to the next, I wouldn't shave my legs all the time. I would only do that on Sunday holiday routine. And I would, wash like it started to be like hygiene like Monday hygiene I would use shampoo Tuesday hygiene I would use conditioner you can buy shampoo and conditioner like head and shoulders double I think I ended up doing that after a while but you learn to uh, make the most of your showers it's really not that difficult and um, wasn't that hard to get used to you you can get clean and like the best best thing in the world and everyone did it on Sunday holiday routine. Sunday holiday routine is like 7 a.m. to 1300, I think, on Sundays. You can basically do whatever you want. You can shine your boots. You can, unless you're on watch, which sucks. You can shine your boots. You can iron. You can write letters. Or if you're like every single female in my division, you would get in the shower. You can go to church. You would get in the shower and you would stay there for like two hours. And you would shave your legs. You would completely wash your face, every inch of your body. You would shampoo condition your hair like six times you just stand in the hot water like yes so we would take like spa showers and I joke around here at a school like when I get in the shower I'll tell my roommate like I'm about to take a Sunday holiday a Sunday holiday routine kind of a shower which means I'm gonna be in there for a long ass time because those I think everyone did that but you get the socks that you wear for PT like when you're in shorts they come up to they come up really high, so it doesn't even matter if girls don't shave their legs during the week anyway. You can, you get a razor, but I didn't have freaking time to do that shit. Some people manage to, but I was always, I always try to be there on time, so anyhow, that's how that went. I think there was something else that I was going to talk about that reminded me in this video, but I can't remember what it was. But this is just a reply video to the video I just uploaded because I watched it as it was uploading to make sure I didn't miss anything, and I obviously did. So I hope I covered stuff. 
It's 2054. We're expecting roommates tonight, and I've already told all the Yeomans, as soon as we get the new ship-ins there, I want to pick mine. I want to hand-pick my roommate. I want to go upstairs when they're chilling in the lounge, and I'm going to ask who's clean and who's quiet. Because if you if you live loud, I don't want you in my life. We're going we're gonna to butt heads. I will make life miserable for you if you give me an unsat or if you fuck me up here in this room. Like, I... You don't want to live with me if you're not clean and if you're loud. If you're on the cell phone all the time and shit, it's not going to fly. So, I already, I know all the yeomans. I've been here long enough. So I let the yeomans know, as soon as they come in, I'm going upstairs and I'm picking mine. <laughs> I'm going to pick who's living with me. And she's going to live with me. And she's going to be quiet. She's going to be clean. And she's going to hate her life if she fucks me up. <laughs> I'm nice. So it won't be a big deal, you know?